Yo, what's going on guys? Rapid Plays here and welcome back to the series. Here we are. We're here guys. We are indeed here. What is this? We have a light cruiser and two subs sitting in reserve. Um, do you need... Maybe I just need to hit play and they'll go fill in, maybe. Will you? Yeah, it already filled in. But then these two subs... Um, we'll just leave them there and reserve for now. But yeah, welcome back, guys. Um, great, great, great episode yesterday. Uh, yeah, things are going, I don't, I don't want to say that they're going well, because, I mean, they're not, they're not really going crazy well, but at the same time, we're also not really doing bad. So, yeah, let's continue. Let's continue here. So, Last episode, we're trying to get some more allies on our side here. Yugoslavia is looking like they're going to be going fascist any time now. Um, they are 48% fascist at the moment, which if they go fascist, that would be a big help in this war against not only Italy, but finishing up this war in Greece. And speaking of Greece, we are turning them fascist if we cannot manage to, if our allies cannot manage to take them over, we are currently turning them fascist. Which, it looks like with the newfound help of Sweden, we might be able to push a little bit here. As our allies just pushed and took Larissa. Which is great. So things are, they're starting to turn things around down there in Greece. Which would be a big, big boost. Now over here, they are also trying to push out this um, little landing that happened there. And we are still stalemated over here. Uh, our production is going decently well now. We're going to start stockpiling equipment any second, and we are already stockpiling lots and lots of artillery. So yeah, uh, we could actually probably start lend leasing some artillery to a nation that would need it. Um, maybe Bulgaria. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, start lend lease. Can I give you... Um, where is it at? I know I have a lot of it. Is it that? Artillery? Why do I have so much Czech artillery and just... Oh, that's just from nations I've conquered. Okay. Wow, we have a lot of different nations stuff. <laughs> Jeez and Pete's. Um, anyways, where were, where were we? Yeah, so... We're, we're just kind of trying to get some more allies here. Denmark is 45% fascist. So, they're, they're starting to get there. Um... Denmark is improving relations with Legionary Romania and the U.S. So, not really the greatest. 0 0.02 a day. Not really good. Norway, we're still boosting over here. At 0 0.03 a day. So, slowly but surely, those nations will start to tick up to the point where they might be joining us. And down here, oh, they took back Larissa. So yeah, they're, they're trying to push. My allies are definitely trying their hardest to push right now. Uh, I think Sweden might be sending their units kind of everywhere right now to try to help out. Um, these guys down here are still just holding. And yeah, we're planning on this naval invasion over here. Uh, I'm still waiting for these units to get recruited so I can send them over into this guy's army here. So we can have a rather large army landing when that gets time. Ooh, seven more convoys down. That's beautiful. Absolutely, exquisitely beautiful. There we go. There we go. There we go. Ah, uh, what was I going to do? Yeah, I was going to look at planes. See how bad we are. Oh, man, we're over 1.1k in deficit now. Man, it's just... It's just getting worse and worse for us here. Um, our AA guns have started to get built, which is hopefully going to be able to help out at least a little bit in this air fight here. So yeah, that's that's happening right now. <laughs> we have almost no fighters left. <sighs> not going, not going the greatest still. Oh, man, look at that. Hey, Donitz, you, sir, are absolutely amazing. Donitz is actually him. Like, he's just him. Um, 
I want to select this task force. And then I'm going to probably put you in here and then bump this one up to 20 as well. There we go. So now we have another subunit in the ocean, just kind of absolutely wreaking havoc everywhere. So yeah, keep on raiding shipping, boys. Keep on raiding all the shipping, which they're doing a great job of. And it's absolutely beautiful to see that. Um, I want to see how is my fleet doing. It's starting to look pretty good. Um, got the got a battleship now, which is great. That is going to help a lot in the future here. Some nice heavy cruisers as well. Yeah, heavy cruisers, light cruisers, and a lot of destroyers, which is good. We need all those ships in order to try to control that straight there. The British Strait. Uh, oof, 1947 is going to be the next time I get another battleship. That's going to be a minute. <laughs> but we are going to be getting more light cruisers and obviously more destroyers. Are we not making any more destroyers? Hold on. Light cruisers, heavy cruisers, submarines. We're not making any more destroyers. Oh my goodness. Well, we need to change that. Light cruiser, battleship, heavy cruiser. We probably just get rid of one of the submarines. Except this one doesn't really. Um, I could probably just get rid of the battleship, to be honest. We don't really need a battleship. <laughs> as, as cool as battleships are, we should probably be making destroyers. Um, one battleship should be plenty enough firepower. Six more down, two more down. Oof, lost the sub there. Got another one there. Uh, what happened here? I found a battleship. Oh, two dive bombers got wiped out by that battleship. Oh, it's at 94% damage. Man, he's just shooting down all of our dive bombers here. Yeah, I should probably do that with my ace pilots as well. Do some replacing of ace pilots that have gotten shot down. Bang. Bang. Good there. there we go. Oh, here we go. Units are starting to get pumped out so we can start moving them over for the naval invasion. Which is great. Look at that. Got a lot of units that are about to be ready. Oh, it's a oh, it's gonna be a beautiful thing when this naval invasion happens. Oh, I'm I'm so ready. I'm so so ready for this. This naval invasion could be absolutely insane. How is our medium tanks doing? Are we starting to? Oh, look at that! We're starting to do get in medium tanks here, down to 1.6k deficit. We're starting to move up a little bit in the world. Sweden's still doing good up here. They're probably starting to move more towards a war economy, if I had to guess. Uh, 20 divisions, 69 mill factories. Yep. 11 naval dockyards. Oh, my God. They only have 48 planes, which is not good. Eastern Balkans, Western Balkans. So they're, they're still just trying to navally invade off the coasts here. Oh, look at that. Swedish subs sinking some more convoys. Good job, boys. Oh, I think they took this tile too, didn't they? I don't think they had this tile. They're starting to push. They are starting to push, which is good. We need them to. We desperately need them to. Yeah, I know a lot of you guys said that um, I should take control of my allies' armies here and move some to help me and everything. But I like to see what the allies do. Um... I just kind of like to let them do them and see, see what they're all going to do because, you know, it's their own nations. They have their own kind of uh, militaries. So, yeah. Would this be a really bad idea? I don't know. 
We're still going to research it. I guess we'll find out in a bit. Oh, look at that. And they held. Beautiful. So it looks like they did. They were able to push a little bit down here. And the uh, Americans and British are trying to push back. But the British with no supply because their island's kind of mine now. Um, oh, man. That was not a good exchange for us. Also not a good exchange for us. Oh, wow. That one hurt. It's a big navy that they got there. I think ours is still repairing. Yep. Repairing for, from some rather large fights that they were in. So yeah, still just preparing for this uh, naval invasion right now. Waiting for some of these units to get pumped out. Which it looks like they will be rather soon here. How long? Does it tell me? This is June. What would be like the farthest one out? This one. July. So pretty much August is when we're going to be doing our naval invasion. So we just need to hold until... Oh my god, 101 divisions? I, that's a bit crazy if you ask me. <laughs> 101 divisions is a little bit crazy if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Seems a bit excessive, but when most of these are British and they have no supply anymore, kind of makes more sense. Um, yeah. So, boys are doing well. How is our construction going? Still just kind of leaving everything on repairing what we have. Although, I could... Mm, I don't want to mess with AA anymore. I just want to let... Let all my stuff be repaired. Already got five more subs in there. Beautiful. And I'm telling you, down here is just premium convoy rating. I don't know why they keep shipping everything down here, but it is just like premium convoy rating. USS Midway. It's an aircraft carrier. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting indeed. What is the U.S. doing over here? Wow, they have a lot of convoys. Bismarck class. What? What is the Bismarck class? Is that a battleship? Where are the battleships? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, I see what I was doing last. <laughs> my mind was, uh... My mind may or may not have been on battleships, it looks like. Um, I have all the destroyers researched. Artillery is good. Um, I could start to do some anti-air stuff. Start to push for some anti-air to try to help my units. What's happening down here? They're still just never ending attacking the non-existent supply that's down here. Okay. How's my fascist takeover in Greece going? 18%. How's my fascist takeover in Turkey? 19%. <clears throat> so slowly but surely, we're getting there. 47% there. Yugoslavia? Down to 46%. What? Yugoslavia, what are you doing over here? Well, what are you? What are we doing over here? Why is that? Why is that a thing? How come we're losing support? I'm boosting fascism, and we're losing support. How? What are we losing it to? Oh, communism. Communist pressure. That's why. Okay. Well, listen, Yugoslavia. The Soviets are not what you want. You know what you want? You you want some uh you want some friends over here in Germany. That's what you want. I think your German friends would be much better than Soviet friends. Soviets, I swear to God. I Come on, man. <laughs> you're you're ruining me right now.
<laughs> you can make Bismarcks. That's funny. Uh, almost. Oh, wow. This destroyer really got messed up. That's going to take a while to repair. But a lot of it is repairing. So perfectly good with that. Everything's going decent right now. Still raiding, shipping, still raiding, shipping, still raiding, shipping. I think I may have enough subs to now. Can I increase a little bit? Do I do I increase the range of them? Go out to here, maybe. Let's see what happens when we do that. See if we get more shipping and stuff, especially down here. Yeah, well, there's the convoy already. We found another one. So yeah, we're getting a lot more subs, which is why I'm doing that. We're getting access to a lot more subs. Look at that, three more units. Get her on going. Insufficient resource. Yeah, I know I don't have any aluminum. I know that aluminum doesn't really exist. For 10 sieve factories? Yeah, no thank you. I would much rather not. I'd like to keep my civilian factories for repairing all my broken stuff. Thank you very much. <clears throat> oh, look at that. We're starting to get some stuff. Oh, wow. We're really starting to get some stuff out here. Six convoys, six convoys, six convoys. Six more convoys. Oh, yeah. It was smart to expand our reach of the wolf pack. Because now they are sinking stuff everywhere out here. Which is beautiful. It's exactly what we like to see. And the more subs we get, the more that will get sent out. That the boys getting shipped on over to England. Welcome to London. Don't get shanked. <clears throat> Boom. Landed in Dover. There we go. Welcome to London, lads. Get you some uh, slugs on toast. Quite nice. There we go. They're disembarking. Beautiful. Look at this. We're, we're, oh my god, look at the shipping that I'm raiding down here. Oh my goodness. Well, I think we found all their shipping. <laughs> oh, I think we found where all their shipping was going. Eh? You guys might need to start to protect your convoys a little bit better here. Because all your shipping is getting sunk to the bottom of the ocean right now, America. What's happening down here? Are you guys... I'm cutting off a lot of grease shipping now. Iraq has capitulated. Goodbye, Iraq. Oh, man. I mean, just look at this. We are just destroying it. What's happening here? Oh, they're down here. Oh, look at that. They left port. Good for them. They're going to go find a fight. Go pick a fight with the American Navy. Show them what's up. Slap them around a little bit. As we just keep sinking all of British shipping. And American ship. Well, not really British anymore, but American shipping. <clears throat> How are things going down here? You guys taking stuff? Looks kind of the exact same as before. I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> look, you guys have all the supply in the world up here. You guys could push. That'd be kind of cash money. Oh, there goes the sub. Goodbye, Mr. Sub. Another doctrine. Sure. Why not? Keep sinking stuff. You're making me very happy. Being able to click and see the amount of stuff that we're sinking. Boom! That's what we like to see there. Two more light cruisers and another destroyer sunk. 
these are going to start to be some pretty bad losses for France here. If we can continue doing what we are doing navally. 60. Excuse me? Why was there just that many convoys just chilling? Someone's giving them convoys. I think it's probably the U.S. is giving them convoys. Is that right? Yeah, you're giving them convoys because you're not going up anymore. <laughs> oh, this is about to be a lot of convoys sunk. 25 of them. And now the submarines are dipping the second that the Canadian Navy arrives, which is beautiful. Oh, there goes three more Canadian destroyers, which is great to see. Goodbye, convoys. Goodbye, convoys. Goodbye, convoys. Bon voyage, convoys. Oh, bang. Another big win at sea. Another very, very big win at sea. We are doing great. And look at this. We're about to have a lot of units getting output here. A lot of infantry that we can send over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more units, right? Yeah, eight more units that we can send over, which will be 17 out of 24, which I think will be enough to justify me doing a naval invasion. So, which is beautiful. Uh, this destroyer is kind of messed up, isn't it? Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, my Navy arrived to help fight a fight the uh canadian navy here and get my subs out and they man let me tell you they're they're fighting them got two more destroyers there yeah canadian navy better run they don't know what's up with the german navy oh 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 my goodness 27 convoys yeah goodbye so much for that free civ factories too we are going to start to build some more anti-aircraft. We need a lot of anti-air. Help defend a little bit on what we are lacking right now, which is air power. So there we go. Six more done. Six more done. Two, one. It's just, the rating on their shipping is crazy. Like, honestly, it is. How much we are rating is crazy. Look at this. Navy just goes back into port. Do a little bit of repairing. Wow, this destroyer was almost sunk. 3.1%. <laughs> yeah, that one was a close call for you, buddy. You, sir, got bracketed a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit, though. Just a little bit. Sweden moving men around. Are you guys getting invaded? Nope, you guys are doing good. Still kind of chilling out there. Six more units. Let's get all those boys moving. We could probably do some more light tanks, too, couldn't we? Light tank divisions? Where are our light tanks? Yeah, probably. Um, where is the light tank? Is this my light tanks? Yes, it is. Let's finish this template out here. And then we can just do two of those. Set them in there. And then what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, so look at how bad that affected production. Um, not really at all. We're good. We're very good, which is great. Um, how are the boys doing? Still still building up over there. Okay. Lads are still moving on over. I think we just sunk a British convoy that had troops on it. <laughs> uh, Western Mediterranean. Okay, that's down here. Spanish are defending over there. Things are just still pretty well stalemated. And down here, they're trying to push out of Larissa, but they're holding. 
Um, they've had this, so nothing really new on the developments side of things. I don't know why they don't push here, you know? Just like push here really hard. You could probably take that, take that port. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we're starting to lose this to communism, which sucks. Sucks a lot. More convoys, more convoys, more. Oh, <gasps> the subs got a battleship. Let's go. Goodbye, battleship. My submarines are too good for you. Yeah, and I'm not too worried about any lost subs at this point because we are putting out enough subs to keep up with losses. Um, let's see here. Twenties. I mean, yeah, we're doing pretty fine with keeping up with submarine losses. So. Doing good. We're even filling out that other new one that I just sent there. Okay. We're doing good, though. We're doing very good. Jeez, I'm Pete. This is just crazy, the amount of shipping we're getting. Recon companies. Okay. Do it again. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be a crazy naval invasion. Um, I would like more light tanks, though. What kind of supply are you guys missing? Do you guys need more manpower? Why don't you guys just get more manpower? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Um... Oh, 17 more convoys. That's beautiful. That's a very good amount. We are seeing a lot of British convoys now that I think about it. Oh, look, they are attacking. But you guys aren't attacking the right thing, really. If I'm going to be honest. Oh, look at that. Some Swedish tanks. Okay, I'm going to look at who we're all boosting here. Um, Yugoslavia, Turkey, Greece, Norway, Denmark, Portugal. Okay. Denmark. Denmark's almost fascist. Okay. Norway is getting pretty close to being fascist as well. Good. So, if we could get those nations to join in and help us that'd be nice especially their navies their navies would be the biggest part of that jeez and pete we're just torching american convoys how okay yeah so they just have 327 mil factories which hurts a lot how are things going for senor hapon over here uh, they're starting to take communist China, which is good. Um, they're, they are bogged down in actual China, though, which is not good. Um, they're also starting to lose... Oh, they lost Iwo Jima. Not really good. Not good at all. Got two more convoys. Got six more. Six more again. Man, we are just like... I. It still just baffles me how many convoys we are taking out right now. And, like, I'm sure it's doing something, but for me right now, it's just kind of like, you know, I'm, I'm getting convoys. Because, like, I it's like, how do I put this? It's one of the secretive things, you know? It, 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 like, it doesn't show up as, like, casualties and stuff, but I'm sinking a lot. I am sinking a lot, a lot. trying to lose a lot of naval bombers in the strait here oh we're really starting to lose a lot of naval bombers in the street hey you guys want to hurry up and finish repairing because you see there's this thing called a very large enemy task force in the strait right now can't really do anything about it until you guys get there thank you what's that oh Oh, we're at the 30 minute mark too for recording. Oh, oh my goodness. We're at where I usually leave off. 
for these right before the naval invasion. Like, right, right before the naval invasion. Like, usually I'd be doing the naval invasion right now. <laughs> oh, that's cruel. Oh, that's, that's just cruel. So you guys might have to wait till next time to see this naval invasion, because my armies are primed and ready to go. Sure. Why not? I'll take your stuff, Sweden. Uh, 44%, which is great. 50% fascist. Boom! We're over the 50 mark for these guys. If we can make them fascist, that would be massive. That would be a very, very big win for us. So not only will we get them, but we get Iceland too. And up here, wow, what's their navy looking like? I mean, it'll just help out. That's that's all I know is that it will help out. Okay, I, I have a proposal just for you guys, all right? I will make this episode a little bit longer so then you guys can see the naval invasion, okay? But we are going to need naval supremacy for that to kind of happen. So, can you guys, uh, you know, repair? Thank you. Uh, how long till you guys are done? October. I don't know. I don't know. I, you guys, I think you guys are going to have to wait till next episode, unfortunately, to see this naval invasion. This is insane, by the way. I, I'm still in awe at how many convoys we're sinking. Um, so... Can you guys tell me, by the way, in the comment section down below what sinking convoys and stuff does? Because, like, obviously, um, it does something, but I don't, I don't really know if it's, like, I'm taking out equipment, I'm taking out units, or if there's a way to tell what I'm taking out. Um, if you guys could let me know that in the comments down below, that would be great. But I think I'm going to end this episode off here, guys. So, if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more in the future... Especially if you guys want to see this naval invasion, let me know in the comment section down below, guys. Hit that like and subscribe button. And of course, I will see you all next time, guys. Peace!